look. Your side focus may be lying to your ass. Oh, it's not true. Now on a lot of the newer scopes, instead of having a front adjustable objective, they have the side focus. The side focus, it is a focus, but its primary function is to adjust the parallax out. Parallax, for guys that don't know, this only takes a second, is when you get the image in the scope and the reticle are not on the same plane. When they're not, and you move your head around at the rear of the scope, you'll get a parallax error like what you're seeing right now. Now, if you get it adjusted right and you move your head around, the reticle will stay frozen on the target. You won't get the same parallax error. But I recently ran into a problem with the Sig Sauer Whiskey 4 and Whiskey 6 line of scopes. I had two of them. One of them would parallax down to about 51 yards. I know because when I go out to the range, I measure everything, double check it like Santa Claus, make sure the shit is right. The other would only parallax down to about 62 yards. Now, I was out of town recently and went to a gun shop. I had all of my camera gear with me and I asked the guy that ran the shop, he knew me from a ridiculous ass channel, if I could take two of the Sig Sauer scopes outside and see if it was actually accurate, if it would go down to 50 yards. Long story short, it didn't. So three out of four scopes that I have checked will not go down to 50 yards, even though that's clearly marked on the side of it. Why is that a problem? Because if you're a guy like me, you do a lot of rimfire shooting, or you just go to the range and you like to shoot at 50 yards, and you want to get it parallax free, with the Six Hour Whiskey 6 and Whiskey 4, you may not get that option. But if somebody from SIG sees this, quit putting 50 yards on these side turrets when you know it should probably say 75. That's not right for people that have a 50 yard range only. They spend a lot of money on these scopes and they can't get it parallax free. Now, I don't have any other complaints about this series of scopes. As a matter of fact, I recommend the Whiskey 3, 3 to 9 a lot to guys that are looking for their first budget scope. But this is not a true budget scope and the numbers are a damn lie. Six hour, do better. You're building a good scope. This right here, that's bullshit. Bullshit alert. Bullshit alert.